Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries at the end of day two of the final engine assembly and we've done really quite well. So today we managed to get the two halves of the engine together. Last time we left it we had just finished timing the valves and we came down first thing in the morning and did another final check of the valve timings and just did a little tweak on that so we got them slightly better. I didn't realise I'd actually made some timing marks on the put on the uh, sprocket here and on the sprocket there last time see the beauty of getting old is that you tend to forget things but i refound my timing marks and we got some crack on starting points for the the valve timing also fitted the plate that holds the magnets for the boyer brand and ignition and set the static ignition timing to roughly more or less where where it's recommended made the shim plate here and locked off these so we've got the right tension on the chain that drives the sleeve drive crank certainly once the bearing is in place because that just gets lifted slightly and that tension is pretty good and then we put all the bolts in around the barrel so we put the, the barrel on after we'd put this this has to go on first this part of the uh, engine case then we put all the bolts on around the barrel and they look quite nice i even splashed out a local hardware shop for the price of some of four pounds on 16 new nuts and 16 new washers so they look quite smart and all of the bolts around the outside with the exception of those two there because those two there are the ones that we use to bolt it to the table so the the cranks in the full crank assembly is in the lip seal on the very very end of the crankshaft is in with a, a bit of oil on it there's a bit of oil around all the oil ways they've all been cleaned out with pipe cleaners and blown out with an airline and primed with oil so we've got oil on the gudgeon we've got oil on the uh, ball joint that drives the, the sleeve uh, oil in all of the oil ways uh, which is why the the surface here it looks so sexy and shiny because it's got um, oil on it. So there we go. We haven't got the head on yet, so you can see inside. And if I rotate the engine, you can see the valves move and the piston move. Valves opening and closing, piston going round, but I'm not strong enough to do it with one hand. So I'll, I'll perhaps do that as a separate video at some point. Uh, and what remains now is to fit the breather is to fit the cylinder head using the compression ring that we made in uh, another video and is to fit the timing cover after we've popped the oil pump on. The reason we stopped at this point last night was that we just Loctited this on the end of the sleeve drive crank. We'd Loctited this on the end of the crank and the orifice plate here that restricts the oil flow to the crank to allow it to continue up and go to the sleeve drive crank so um all in all that's a, a really successful day it certainly looks like an engine now it certainly looks complete and it's probably the first time we've had all of these bolted down because we always knew it was coming apart again so there wasn't much point in putting every single bolt in um just to have to pull it all apart again so that's pretty good progress i'm quite pleased with that but there's a couple of days off now for family birthdays and a couple of other things but as usual, more updates will follow and as usual, thanks for watching.